morning. Happy Sabbath. At Parkwood Church, we really treasure our young people. And because of that, we collect an offering for them every Sabbath for children's ministries. So at Children's Story, I'd like to invite you to hold up an offering, and the children will collect your offering for children's ministries. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Isn't this a beautiful flower garden we have on our steps this morning? Wow. I love to see this. <laughs> Can you put your money into the basket? Yeah, we have a treasure chest. For our offering. There we go. Thank you all for collecting our children's offering today. Do you see something special in church today that you don't usually get to see at church? Yes. Does anybody know his name? Maddox. That's right. He's kind of Parkwood's mascot because he's been coming to church so long. He mostly went to outdoor church when we got to have that. Wasn't that fun? He thought so too. And he comes to prayer meeting and he comes to events sometimes at church. But I brought him today to be kind of a, um, a lesson study for us today. Um, Jesus, when Jesus told stories to the people, he told stories about things that they could understand, right? And I'm going to read to you from John 10, 27. He said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Now, I have never met a shepherd. Have you met any shepherds? One person here has met a shepherd before. But in our community, we do have farmers and we have dairymen, right? Lots of cows. And I have lots of friends that have chickens. And I know both of those people would say when they call their animals, their animals know their voice, right? But still, I can't relate to that because I don't have a cow or a chicken. But you know what I do have? that knows my voice, Maddox. In fact, he needs to follow me wherever I go. And so if I get up and start to walk this way, I'm pretty confident that he will shortly follow. Do you see? He actually has a hard time being anywhere that I'm not. So I thought this would be a good example for you to help understand what Jesus is talking about when he says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Have you ever heard the voice of Jesus? Grown-ups, this is for you too. And has, have you heard that voice calling you to follow me? Yeah, 
I think some people in here have even been baptized kind of recently. If you've been baptized kind of recently, raise your hand. Yeah, hearing the voice of Jesus when he says, follow me, one response is baptism. Jesus gives us other instructions, too, that we need to listen to, right? Sometimes he might say, stop. Has anybody ever heard Jesus say, stop? Yes. Has Jesus ever said, wait? And has Jesus ever said, I'm sorry, I can only hold you right now. I'll just hold you right now. Yeah, these are some things that Jesus says to us because we are his sheep. And I want to tell you about a time when Maddox maybe didn't listen so well to me. We were outside where um, I am. He usually is. And it's safe for him to go outside because he'll stay with me. He won't leave out of the yard. He won't chase any other dogs. Sometimes he'll say hi to a passerby, but that's it. He'll just say hi, and he'll come right back. Well, we were across the street, and he had a panic look in his face. He has terrible anxiety. Do you see him shaking a little right now? And he had a look on him that I recognized, and I could tell he was going to run. He was going to run back to the house. And so I started getting a little agitated, and I said, Maddox, no, because there was a car coming. And he doesn't do well if I yell at him. And he started to run. And I said, stop. And that doesn't sit well with him either. What do you think he did when I said stop? He ran fast. And guess what happened with that car that was coming down the street? Smack! Maddox got hit by a car. It was horrible. It was horrible. But the car had been going slow because when we're driving our cars, we pay attention to what's happening. And they saw that there was a dog that wasn't on a leash, so they slowed down. And they watched. And when he darted out, they hit their brakes. But there was still a loud impact, and it was so scary. Now, thankfully for us, Maddox at the time was younger than he is now. So he was a little healthier and not so frail. And he has a high center of gravity. That means that all of his weight is up tall, right where a bumper or a grill would be. So instead of getting hit and going under the car, he just hit off the car and continued running because by then he was not going to do anything else. So he went inside the house in the open house. Maddox didn't hear, didn't listen when I said, when I said, wait. And he didn't listen when I said, stop. But when I finally got to him and I was able to say, I'm so sorry, Maddox. I hope you're going to be OK. I love you. And all I can do is hold you when you're hurting. I tried to comfort him. And he was OK. He had probably some bruises and some achy muscles. And he was pretty shaky for the rest of the day. But that was the only injury he had, and we were so lucky. But what a great example that is for us to remember, to listen when we hear that voice of Jesus, and to do what that voice says. But sometimes, when we don't listen, there's going to be some consequences. And all Jesus can do after that is say, I love you anyways. I love you so much, and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be with you. Thank you for listening to our story today. You can go back to your seat.